welcome back to another Red Beard Outdoors episode. In today's episode, this is the, the big one. The whole reason we drove over 2,000 miles to get here is so that we could compete in the AKC Pointing Breed Horseback Championship. And there's 76 dogs entered. We missed our last video, we competed in a regional championship on these grounds to kind of warm up for this event right here. I'll have a link somewhere up here or in the description below on how we did there. Uh, we ended up uh, doing pretty well with Griffin. So um, if you want to see that, go check that out. Uh, that was kind of our warm up for our dogs to get ready for this event. And what do you know, our luck has it raining and really cold outside. So filming is going to be pretty tough today. Um, I got to figure that out and how I'm going to do that. It's going to be in the 40s today and raining. It's going to be a fun day. Uh, we got a lot of dogs up today. Uh, Reason, uh, Rock, if I'm able to find a horse and film for it. And then I'll be up later today with Neo. So uh, three dogs today. It's, it's going to be about a five or six day event. So uh, a lot of waiting in between braces for uh, for your dog to run. So uh, we got three dogs up today and let's uh, let's get it started. Flush, sir. Got it. Got it. 
looking for that. What's on the darn list? I know. We can't be deviating. You'll confuse me. Story of my life. Here, trade. There it is, Clayton. Whoa. That's good. Whoa.
He's in there. He's coming through. It's going up. Trust me.
All right, guys, we're on day five. I'll give you a little mid-trial update. Neo did very well, but did not make the cut. Mike did very well, but did not make the cut. There were some holes in both of those braces, um, unfortunately. Reason did amazing, and she's in the money right now. Uh, so far, there's, there's four chosen. Uh, as of yesterday, there was only three. So an, another dog made it yesterday. We have today and a couple dogs left tomorrow. And um, we only have uh, we only have two dogs left, and that is um, Griffin and Cooler. So Griffin's up next. You guys are going to see that here in a sec. Um, he had a really good regional championship here. Um, if you watched the last video, he got third. And uh, he's up next, so uh, we're getting ready. And it's kind of weird this this trial. There's been, you know, we've been a lot more nervous than what we usually are. So uh, pretty pretty crazy to be this nervous at a trial. But it's a huge stake, a lot of dogs, a lot of breeds. So uh, fingers crossed. Let's uh let's go do this. Top dog. Bottom dog. Yeah, Jake. Not Jake, right? Tyler, you're handling? Yeah, Jake. Right. Yeah, I thought you said to get to Jake. That was the last dog. Looks a little bit different than Jake. Good luck, Tyler. Good luck to you as well. Right, Dr. Ready? Yeah. All right. Decimated feathers everywhere. Oh. You good with us going still? Yeah.
just tow that. Standing! Nope. So thank you all for coming. Um, I know it costs a lot of money to get here and run your dog. Um, and some of you are right up there on the top of, you're on the list. <laughs> So it's kind of exciting. Um, we're going to have a few words from the judges, and then we are going to have a few words from Mr. AKC and talk about our sponsors. Then we'll do the placements. Tom will do the placements, and then we'll do photos. Um, I just wanted to say something about the dogs <laughs> we were watching. We saw a lot of good dogs, dogs that might have won in another trial or another day, but we had three dogs that were spectacular. So uh, a good performance wasn't quite good enough against those three. Oh, I have to say on that. Okay, I second that. And uh, everybody's dog here is a damn good dog or you wouldn't be here. Okay? And just because you didn't get a placement or award of merit doesn't mean you have a bad dog. It just the other dogs were better that day. So please keep that in mind. Anyway, thank you all for presenting your dogs to me and Bonnie. We appreciate it. Placements. We're gonna let's start with the Brittany in alphabetical order. The top Brittany from Brace 22A, Letty, handled by Ms. Leslie Light. Oh, uh, next on the list, our top German Short Air Pointer from uh, Brace 8, Top Dog Fiona, handled by Mr. Todd Yamamoto. Going down our list, our German Wire Hair Pointer. Yes, from Brace 29, the B-Dog, Fritz, handled by Mr. Tim Schiller. This goes to help. The top Gordon Setter from 16B, Rolex, handled by Janet Kuhnbach, and I know Janet's gone. You see her? Give her a big out of girl. From Brace 9, the top dog, Reason. Handled by Ms. Kelly. Going down the list. Race 37, our B Dog, Fanny. Handled by Mr. Tim Schiller. <laughs> And you gotta take the picture. All right. Thank you, sir. Top Beesla. Brace 34, the top dog, <laughs> Denali, handled by Mr. Patrick Clark. There I go. What I do? <laughs> Rounding out our different breeds. Top Weimreiner. Brace 10, the top dog, Radar, handled by Mr. Todd Yamamoto. Hey. Yeah. We start with the, on our placements with the award of merits. The judges have found uh, two dogs that they'd like to award the award of merits. Um, the first, as long as she's right here, would be Letty from 22A with Ms. Leslie Like. The merit. 
is a dog from the ninth race, the top dog, Reason, handled by Miss Kelly Aiken. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Fourth place dog. And I probably, no matter how I say this, I'm going to probably do it wrong. From the fifth race, bottom, <laughs> Sean. Our third place dog, which ran in the 26th race, the top dog, Cat, handled by Mr. Patrick Clark. <laughs> this dog, which ran in the 37th race, the bottom dog, Fanny, handled by Mr. Yep. Tim Schiffer. Congratulations. Our first place dog and new national champion gun dog, Hails from the eighth race, the top dog, Fiona, handled by Fiona. All right, good. I think Nell is excited as me. I really appreciate her help. Thank you, guys. Awesome. Yeah. There you go, sir. We need it. It just, I'm trying to. You forgot. <laughs>